Okay, and here we are on 3.2. Applications of radian measure. You're going to apply the definition of radian to find missing distances and areas in application problems. Yes, application problems means word problems or any other application. So the length S of the arc, the arc, is intercepted on a circle of radius R by central angle theta in, in radians. This is actually a very important one that you you go, oh, we're talking radians. Um, you will not get the same answer in degrees. So S equals R theta. So this little bit of part of the arc is going to be th theta times the radius. So first problem for you to try, find the exact length of each arc intercepted by the given central angle. So remember our equation is S equals R theta. So R is 12, theta is pi over 3. So 12 pi over 3, which gives us S equals 4 pi. And yes, you will leave your answer in terms of pi. Always give exact values unless they ask you for a decimal. Exact values means you leave pi alone, you leave radicals alone, unless it's a perfect square, and so on. So let's try another one. This time they asked you to find the radius. So they gave you the central angle, and they gave you the 14 pi. So still S equals R theta. Plug in what you know. You know S is 14 pi. You don't know the radius, but you do know central angle of 7 pi over 4. Just like any other math problem, you multiply by the reciprocal. And please don't make this silly mistake. This is 14 pi, which is equivalent of 14 pi over 1. You can, this on this side, they cancel out. You're left with just R. And you can multiply and then reduce, or you can reduce. The pi's are going to cancel out, and 7 goes into 14 two times. So we get R equals 8. So the radius on this one is 8. Okay, next one, find the measure of the central angle in radians. Well, since our equation is in radians, we get to assume our answer we're going to get will be in radians as well. So S equals 6, R equals 4, and we need theta. So divide both sides by 4, and you get theta equals 6 over 4, or we can reduce it down to theta equals 3 halves. No decimal, leave it as a fraction. And there you go. Okay, so we're going to continue using this idea. So let's find the distance in kilometers between each pair of cities, assuming they lie on the same north south line. The radius, so those are la long, I don't remember. Okay longitudes. So, assuming they lay on the same north side line, the radius of the Earth is 6400 kilometers. And they want you to answer this in kilometers. So, they give you Halifax, North, North Nova Scotia is 45 degrees north. So, let me get my lines out. So, from the center out, they gave us a value of 6,400 kilometers. And then they said Nova Scotia is about 45 degrees north. So there it is, Nova Scotia, 45 degrees north. And they're talking from the center. So 45 degrees. And what is hot is Argentina, they're claiming to be 34 degrees south of the equator. So we get 
30, 40 degrees south. Now what we're wanting though is this full out value. So our angle theta equals 45 plus 34, which is 79 degrees. Degrees. But remain, remember, theta has to be in radians. So in radians, theta equals 79 pi over 180. You don't even have to reduce it. We're just going to throw it into the value when we get done. So we have S equals 6400 times 79 pi over 180. And now, since they are asking us for distance, we are going to uh, multiply through by pi. We're looking, I, I know I told you guys, I'm gonna leave it. They are actually asking you how far is it? And most people will not understand something over pi, something times pi. They go, okay, so how far is that? So we're gonna actually do the math on this one. We're not gonna just play with it. So this one here, we multiply this out and we get S equals 88, 24.38. Now, if you look at this as an answer, I'm fine with it. But if you look at your values, two significant digits, two significant digits, even the 6400 is two significant digits. So you can write this out as S equaling approximately 8800 kilometers. Here, well, again, I try to be careful on the test not to be specific on uh, significant digits. If I did, I would probably do it as a free response, not a multiple choice question. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, here's what I would like you guys to do is try setting this one up on your own see how you do. So pause it, see if you at least set it up, and then check your answer to see if you got it right. And I'm going to go through and uh, do the problem. Okay, so the question is, how would you guys do? So we got our, our equator, Farmersville, North uh, California is about 36 degrees north, and Princeton, British Columbia is about 49 degrees north. So we have 36 degrees north, we have 49 degrees north, and we have our radius of 6,800 kilometers, right? 68, 64, darn, 64. Okay, this time what I need to point out to you is that we're not going to add these. One goes here and one goes here, but the distance we're asking for is, let's see, right, we're looking for is just the distance here. Now don't get confused, this is this angle, and then the 49 is this angle. So we need to get rid of the overlap is what we need to get rid of. So we go 49 minus 36 equals 13 degrees. Now, at this point here, I'm going to throw it out there. If, the, if you are already going, crap, I already messed up, that's okay. Pause and fix your problem and see if you can get to the right answer before you, you unpause it. <coughs> so let's continue on. S equals our theta, remember theta has to be in radians, so S equals 6400 times 13 pi over 180. So you do the math on that one, you're going to get S equals 1452.11 two significant digits gives us S equals 1500. Don't forget your kilometers 
I know I did on the last one, but it's okay. We'll survive. Just don't forget again. Okay. Last problem I believe we're going to try today. Uh, two gears are adjusted so that the smaller gear drives the larger one, as shown in the figure. If the radii for the gear are 4.8 inches and 7.1 inches, and the smaller gear rotates to an angle of 315 degrees, how many degrees will the larger gear rotate? So we have a little conversation here that we have to go through, but I'm going to go ahead and get things going here first. So we have a couple of radius, radii here, and we have an angle going on here. So this guy here is 4.8. This one is 7.1. This guy goes through 315 degrees. And here's the discussion we need to have. Would you agree surface area wise that if I went through here 22 inches on a rotation, this one here also went through 22 inches kind of thing. That's why I want, I want you to think about going, it doesn't matter the size, be, or think about the, the tires on a car. The larger tire just it, in one rotation will cover a little bit more, but if you go 30 feet, doesn't matter the size of the tire, each tire went 30 feet. So, and that's going to be equivalent of your, your S value. So we can claim for the larger one, the larger one, S equals R is 7.1 theta. We don't know the theta. That's what they're asking you for. And it does say how many degrees. So we get, we're going to leave this in degrees, otherwise we're converting. We're going to convert back and forth. So remember, convert to radians, pi over 180, to get back to degrees, 180 over pi. So we just, we're not even going to mess with it. We're, we'll convert for y. And the smaller one gives us s equals 4.8 times 315 degrees. So again, we decided that it doesn't matter if, if it turns three inches, both of them is three inches of, of their curb was used. So the S is going to be the same. The question is how, how much is the rotation on this one? So this guy went 315 degrees. This is larger, so his angle should be smaller. So I have 7.1 theta equals 4.8 times 315. So 7.1 theta equals 1512 divided by 7.1 and theta equals 212.95 degrees and since this is in nearest degree we're going to go ahead and take this guy and say it is also 213 degrees. Now again the word problem should be word, word answer how many degrees will the larger gear rotate the larger gear will rotate 215, 213 degrees the larger gear two hundred and thirteen degrees. Now I was thinking back on the last two problems and we probably should have done that also. The distance between the two cities, we could have said the distance between the two cities is and then answer the question. But I don't want to go back. I don't want to confuse you guys by going back on these. Okay, and I am ending part one video here. Only a 14 minute video, not terrible.